Hey y'all, welcome to Humming Catfish. Today we're gonna be making some magnolia flower jelly. So grab some magnolias, get your jars ready, and let's go. So this is our magnolia grandiflora, also known as the southern magnolia. Uh, we have several of these trees, they're they're huge. The leaves stay green on it year round and in the end of the spring they have these nice blooms. Uh, they smell like like lemon roses but you can actually make a jelly out of them. So for the batch I'm going to be making today I'm going to need about eight cups of the flower petals which shouldn't take too long because um, they're really big. <laughs> so I'm going to start gathering some of these and Get some in the old basket. We are back in the kitchen and now the whole house smells good. <laughs> um, I think it's probably going to be about eight cups that I got here. If not, I'll run back out and grab some more. So here's a rundown of the ingredients that we're going to be using today. We're going to get eight cups of magnolia flower petals, eight cups of water, ten cups of sugar, four tablespoons of lemon juice or one teaspoon of citric acid and we're going to be using eight tablespoons of pectin. I do it in bulk. Um, if you have the little boxes uh, I'd do one and a half. It's a little bit less than the extra half and then of course you're going to want your jars and your lids and your bands. Uh, the only parts we're going to be using are the petals. So I'm going to separate each of the petals and then put them into a basin so that we can rinse them off and get them all cleaned. beat up. Uh, I had to use the fruit picker to get some of the ones that were really high up. Um, so I'm going to get these rinsed in some water, maybe soak them around, swish them a little bit, get the bugs off and the dirt, and then I'll show you the next step. Alright, so I have them washed and rinsed, uh, looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do now, uh, just to get the best flavor out of them, is I'm going to bruise them and put them into a dish. And then we're going to be covering that with eight cups of boiling water. So if you want to get your water going while we do this part, that'd be great. So just take a handful of them and just kind of crunch them up. That way we're just bruising it so the water can really get in there and extract the flavor. Now that we have them crushed, we're going to pour eight cups of boiling water over them. Okay, we're going to let this uh, steep until it is cold. Uh, you can stir it around every once in a while, just, you know, really get it. Uh, Get all the essence out of it. Ooh, I'm getting a steam bath. I'm telling you, your house is going to smell really good. Um, while we're waiting for this to cool down, I'm going to go ahead and get my jars and lids cleaned up. I'm going to be doing two sizes. Uh, these I'm going to use the disposable lids. These are for gifts. And then with the jelly size ones that we're going to be keeping here, I'm going to use the reusable lids. So I'm going to get these washed up. Uh, get the water bath canner started so that we can sterilize the jars. Alright, so we have our jars that are washed. They're in the water bath canner. And I'm going to go ahead and let those boil, bring them to a boil and let it go for uh, 10 minutes. Get them all sterilized. Alright, I got all the lids and gaskets in a pan and I'm going to set that to simmer. This has cooled down nicely, 
So what I'm gonna do is strain it into this glass bowl. You could strain it right into a pot if you wanted to, the pot you're gonna cook it in, but I wanted to show you all the color. So I'm just taking a colander and putting a, a damp tea towel in it. Alright, now I'm just going to squeeze this and get everything out. Now we need to add either some lemon juice or citric acid. Either add four tablespoons of lemon juice or one teaspoon of citric acid. Alright, now we're going to stir this. till it's dissolved. All right, now you want to pick a, a nice size pot. Because this is jelly and not jam, um, I'm going to be using a smaller pot than I normally do. Anything that's got the fruit still in it and you got to cook it for a while, man, I, I use the biggest pot I can find because that stuff bubbles and it ain't no joke. So pour your eight cups into a pot and then we'll get started cooking okay so we have the magnolia tea essence water with the citric acid in it and we are going to bring that to a boil all right it is boiling so we are going to add our eight tablespoons of pectin and i'm going to try to film this <laughs> it's going to get interesting And then we're gonna let that boil for at least a minute and then we will add the sugar. You always wanna add the pectin first before the sugar when you're doing jelly or it will not set. I don't know, there's something about the chemistry. All right, that's been a minute. And now we're gonna add the 10 cups of sugar. I can't do this with one hand. I got it in a bowl. All right. I got that in there and you're going to stir it and bring that to a boil for one minute. Well, bring it to a boil and then let that go for a minute. Just keep stirring it. All right, we're going to very carefully let this boil for one minute. Uh, just keep stirring it. Uh, this stuff will boil over. <laughs> And just make sure you adjust your heat as needed. Um, usually at this part, you're going to take it down to about a medium, uh, maybe a little above a medium to get the final minute boiling. Just be really, really careful. Make sure that you have your work area covered with a towel. Uh, I don't know if you haven't watched my other videos with canning, you don't want to put hot jars onto a cold little countertop. I'm going to take the jars that have been sterilizing out of the water bath canner and put them on here so we can fill them up with jelly. Alright, you can see that there is a foam. A little bit of foam on top, so I'm just going to kind of scrape that to the side and just carefully scoop it out. I don't worry about getting all of it, just the bulk of it. And don't throw that away because it actually tastes really good. All right, so we are going to start with our funnel. I'll start actually with one of these. You see that? Yes. Put the funnel on there. And I'm going to get my ladle and we're going to start filling them up. We're going to leave a quarter inch headspace at the top for the disposable lids and a little bit more than that just a smidge more for the reusable lids all 
right, now we're going to clean the lids and get the caps and bands on. What I like to do is wipe them with some diluted vinegar. And I do it, I like to do it twice. I don't know if you can see that. I just dip that in there, get the excess off. Wipe it once, fold it to a new spot, dip it in there, and be careful these jars are really, really hot. Then do it twice. Now with the lids, uh, the tall glasses are going to be, I'm keeping for us to eat, so I'll be using the reusable lids. And that's where it has a gasket and a band. that on there and the way you do with these reusable ones is you put that on put your finger in the center and just turn it until it turns by itself you don't want to over tighten these and then for the disposable lids for the ones that we're going to be giving away you're going to do the same thing Get some diluted vinegar, wipe the rim, get a clean spot, dip it again, wipe the lid again, <laughs> and then get one of your disposable lids, put it on there like that. Get your band, put it on there, and you're going to just, you might want to use a towel if it's too hot, but just fingertip tighten it. So just, just kind of the fingertips, you can't tighten it too much. It's tight, you need to tighten it more than these kind, but yeah, and then we'll go ahead and as we do this, put them into the water bath canner. You can probably hear it cranking up in the background. Okay, with your water bath canner, you want to make sure that it is one inch over your, uh, over your jellies. And we're going to let that go for 10 minutes at a boil. If it stops boiling, you got to start over. So keep it at a boil for 10 minutes. Make sure if you're using the reusable lids, um, after you've taken them out, of the water bath canner, you want to pick them up with the towel and tighten the lids. Uh, you don't have to do that for the disposable lids, just if you're using reusable lids. Alright, these have all cooled down. We only had one that didn't seal. Uh, this one I was wondering about the cap, it has a little dent in it. So I kind of figured that one wouldn't, but I went for it. So now I'll have to eat it. <laughs> I really think you're going to like the flavor of this. It's like a lemony floral uh, flavor. It's really good. Uh, I think it'd be good on ice cream too, like some vanilla ice cream. Or even put a teaspoon of it into your, uh, your hot tea. I like doing that sometimes with jelly. <laughs> well, that's all I got for y'all today. <laughs> I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And if you like what I'm doing, I surely would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. So until next time, I'll see y'all later.